Hello everyone, I am here with David Pokorny, who is working for Tourist Information Center, which is right there behind me. And we are here to talk about uh, this beautiful town hall. So David, David uh, he knows more, so I will let him speak about some history. And also there is an information center where you can buy the tickets to go up. And it's all in English, so you can read about it. Uh, so let's uh, hear something about the history. Hello guys, so this is the old town hall of Brno. Uh, the old town hall always works as a representation of the prestige of the town. That's why in the beginning of the 16th century they asked architect Anton Pilgrim to build them a beautiful portal. And about the portal, as you can notice, uh, there is something weird about it and that's the bent tower in the middle. So this is the town hall we will be talking about and right here many of you noticed if you visit Brno that the middle tower is a little crooked so David will explain the legend why it is. So let's hear something about the history of the crooked tower. So there is another legend connected with the old town hall and that's about the portal. Well, the legend says that Anton Pilgrim was offered amount of money to build this beautiful portal and he decided that he will do it. And then during the works, he asked the government for the deposit, but they said, no, we didn't, we didn't do that. We didn't say that we will give you this much. And then he decided that he, he got angry about it and decided to take a revenge on them. And that's why he made the last one, tower, bent to show everybody that the government of Brno is twisted and never do what, what, what they say that they will do. Of course, they wanted to make it straight again, but Anton Pilgrim left and never come back to Brno again. And that's why we still have it here. So now we will be going up to the tower to have a beautiful view and we will be climbing 173 stairs. So let's go. We climbed the first set of stairs and we are in a first room where you will learn about architecture and also about Anton Pilgrim who made these towers. So here he is. I would like to show you Brno in the year of 1617. You will see right here is Petrov so different without the towers and on top of the hill you can guess it's Spielberg which is what it used to be a, more like a fort and here you can see the gates of Brno surrounding Brno that's why the Swedish could not conquer it they tried but they were unsuccessful Climbing up the stairs. This is a clock on the tower. One is right here and one is on the other side, right there. And the bell is ringing every hour. If it's like nine, it will ring nine times. But also every 15 minutes, it will just do one ding. So we made it to the top and you have a beautiful views from here and you can also see some old pictures of Brno and there is also a door where you go outside and you will see it from outside. You walk on this uh, tiny path which is just one direction because it's hard for two people to pass by so you follow the arrow and the views are incredible incredible from here so after the 173 steps we are finally on the top now we have the breathtaking view to the city center of Brno the tower is 63 meters tall which is 206 feet uh, behind me you can see the dominant of Brno which is the castle Spielberg also you can see the St. Michael's Church and you have other things to see which is uh, the dominant as well is the St. James Church which has the tallest tower in the Brno. 
We are right above the entrance uh, where you enter to go to the town hall and here is more view but you can see people living here you can see laundry hanging and just the daily life of Brno people here you can see the farmers market Zelny Tarek and the most beautiful thing you will see is a cathedral of St. Peter and Paul which we call Petrov for short I would also like to mention that we have a second tallest building in the Czech Republic which is the AZ Tower on the left right here and there are offices in there from this door on the left you can you come out and you can also check out where I am right here this amazing glass and this place this room where I will show you but look at this glass what an art and these glass doors are also breathtaking and now check out this room wow so if you go up to the tower make sure to also look at this room this room can be rented for small events like a wedding also gorgeous it's pretty big. So we are in the town hall right now and this is a famous Bernard Dragon. So David will explain the legend behind this. So you probably wonder why in Brno we have a dragon on the town hall. Well, there is a legend about it. It says that the dragon used to live near to river Svratka and he was, uh, he was a damage to the villagers because he ate them sheep and cows and other animals. And one day a brave butcher, he decided to kill the dragon. He came up with a plan that he will take unslaked lime and he will put it into the sheep and put it near to the home of the dragon. The dragon came, eat the sheep and then what are you gonna do after lunch? You go to take a sip of water. So he went to the river and he drank the water and that was his end because the chemical reaction created damaging things and he, was, he died from inside. So the people from Brno decided to put the dragon here to the town hall to represent that Brno people are not afraid of anything and they are brave enough to even kill the dragon. The tower is a great attraction because it's open during the whole year and for the whole week. So even on a Monday you can come and visit the tower, which is the usual day which all the other attractions are closed. So definitely if you are here, go and check it out. So here is a Bernard Dragon. Brněcký drak and this is the place where you go to enter and buy the tickets right there to go on top of the tower. Welcome to Zelny Trh, or, or in English we can find it as a cabbage market or vegetables market. The name is connected with the function of the square, which is the second largest in Brno, by the way. The main reason of this square is to sell vegetables, fruits and flowers, and this tradition is from the 13th century and we keep it up to date. The modern twist about it is that now we have some food trucks around here and you can eat the street food, typical for Brno. And from here, you can see the tower where we just went. The 
Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul is the oldest cathedral in the city. The basics are from the 12th, 12th century when there was a Romanesque basilica. Then after that the church changed its image all the time. It was Gothic, then it was New Gothic. And right now the last edition of architecture was in 1906 when the towers were built. Petrov is not just the symbol of Brno, but the symbol of the whole Czech Republic. And the reason is that we have it on the 10 crown coin, as you can see. If you are, don't have really that much money, this is the cheapest souvenir you can get from Brno. Ten crowns and Petrov, as you see. So if you want to check out the Petrov from a view up there, you go right here. And there is where you buy the tickets and you get to the tower where there are amazing views of Brno.